My name is Jerry Cowardly, and I'm uh, a science teacher. I teach IPC and POT, and I'm the Drone Club sponsor. I started it a little bit before, but Miss Allen and I last year really got it going. Um, she was doing the makerspace, and I was already getting interest in drones, so I decided I wanted to do more with it. She wanted to get me involved because she wanted to include drones as part of it. So about two years ago, we started it. Once we saw the interest that was generated from our drone interest group, we decided to go ahead and make it into a club. We have nothing on campus to um, teach this kind of technology, so the club was the best way to reach these students. At first, the district was a little hesitant, or we had information that they didn't want us to have drones in the classroom, things like that. But as I showed the principal here and some of the other faculty people in the district offices, how important it was that we learn these STEM technologies using drones. They became more and more interested in it and, and it's actually going to become a class next year. If it was a class, that would, that would help a lot because it would give me a lot more time to really um, be around the drones and be a part of, like experience them I guess. Definitely recommend this for people that want to go into like architectural or uh, digital technology, filmmaking, there are so many fields that um, involve what drones can do, so for sure. I would like to see it trickle down into the junior highs and, and even into elementaries where when the time, by the time they get here, they're looking to do some advanced things. They've already got all the basics and then we can start really building it from there. I went to a technology conference two years ago and I saw students from an elementary school that were flying drones and writing code to fly drones. So I thought, if elementary school students could do this, then surely our high school students would be interested in it and they could do it as well. Seeing the amount of people that have, have come in, like we have, we've grown quite a bit since we, ju since we first started, so seeing the amount of people that have been here all kind of interested in doing, being able to do something all at the same time that has to do with the drone group has been something that's been pretty fun for me to watch at least. I tell everybody the same thing. Any drone you get your hands on to learn the controls, what makes what happen, um, understanding the general basics of it, you can buy one for ten dollars. We buy toy ones all the time, and we get the kids started just learning how to fly, learning the concept. You know that props create force that pushes down, that makes it go up. So once they learn those basics, I mean that's you go from there to whatever. All of these different aspects that go with drones that can help you for many different careers in the future. If you have any part of that interests you, you know coding and anything that interests you, I would say that you should come anyways. You know just. Um, don't let anything stop you and come and check it out and uh, you may find that it's probably one of the best things you've ever done.